डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल लेट से ट्वेन रुपीज इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ वन बुक देन सडनली ट्वेंटी रुपीज विल बी द कॉस्ट ऑफ टू बुक्स एंड इन द सेम वे थर्टी रुपीज विल बी द कॉस्ट ऑफ थ्री बुक्स If number of books are represented by n, and the cost is represented by t, total cost, then look at this number. When total cost increases, number of book also increases. When total cost decreases, number of book also decreases. They are related in such a way that when one of the quantity increases, another quantity also increases, and when one quantity decreases another also decreases such a relation between them is called directly proportional that's why we can say like this total cost is directly proportional to number of book this is the real meaning of directly proportional now let's talk about inversely proportional inversely proportional let's say we have four rooms and we are going to uh, we are going to use paint on the rooms on the wall of the room then if four rooms are painted by four painters let's say painter are used for then they let's say they finish the this work in one day if instead of four painter if we are using only two painters certainly they will take more time and they will take two days to finish the work if only one of the painter is used then certainly it will take four days to finish the work now look at this relation what kind of relation we have between the painter and number of days required to finish the work when the painter number of painter are decreasing then the number of days required to finish the work are, is increasing it means when one of the quantity decreases another quantity increases or just opposite of this if the first quantity is increasing then second quantity is decreasing this type of relation is just opposite than that of the previous type of relation in this case number of painter is inversely proportional to the number of days required to finish that work this is the real meaning of inversely proportional now if any quantities are proportional to each other then one of the rule says the rule of physics says that if quantities are proportional with each other then there must be a constant between them and we can convert this proportional sign into equal to sign but we have to take the constant which involves between them in between the total cost and number of book the constant involves in between them is unit cost i mean to say cost of one book and other are same number of book is same total cost is same this way the proportional sign can be converted to equal to sign but we have to take the constant which involves between them now we got one equation but how to say that this equation is correct we can verify with some numbers Let's say cost of one book is ten rupees. Then we know that cost of five books must be fifty rupees. Now, if number of book is five, then we know unit cost is ten, and the total cost is certainly fifty. It means this equation is correct. What it says, what is the meaning of this equation? If any quantities are proportional to each other, then there must be a constant between them. This constant can be taken to convert proportional sign into equal to sign, and we will get an equation. That equation can be used in calculation.